Times Square post urban renewal. All shiny and clean. I love it. Say, is that him? It's hard to miss. Egon, how close do we have to get the big trap to reel him in? A lot closer than this. What's he up to now? something. Is he looking for something or someone? If you can see behind me, the streets are in absolute chaos. Authorities are doing everything they can to quell the panic and maintain order. It is madness out here. The Stay Puft Marshmallow Man star of the popular children's television show is on a rampage. This is not the Stay Puft we've come to love. Fortunately, the Ghostbusters have arrived to put everything back to normal. It's All right, damaged. then, hey, we've got to fix it or we everybody. We need to get from here this to is there. part, sure what, the six? Find whatever he's looking for. Good strategy. Ghostbusters. It's dangerous, though. That's a lot of open ground to cover. All right, sport. So me and Ray, we're gonna. Let's go across Times Square and get into the building. Mm. Stay pumped this yeah. So me and Ray, we're, we're gonna distract Mr. Stay Pump there, at the moment, yeah. and uh, Keep moving. definitely one of the most iconic characters. Keep away from those feet. And I would say all of cinema, definitely one of the most nice um, infamous. Really Great job. Now, kind of um. S'more. I would say effects characters, not not saying like CG or practical. Right, cool. You know, most of the, most of Mr. State, essentially all of Mr. State Puff is uh, is practical as, as far as movie is concerned. I mean, but they do they manage? I believe in in the making of the movie they miniaturized a large ton. You know of. Uh, I forgot which part of the central, central Park they're in. But, uh, yeah, definitely the most famous. And I, for the most part, he, he's back. Thank you, Ray. Ray is, um, channeling his inner peppy if, uh, from Star Fox. Just keep yelling out, you know. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ray. It's, it's, Block with your face. I'm trying to help Stop Ray, but Mr. Stay Puff, his his aim is impeccable. Look at look at the accuracy. The accuracy. I I mean I'm kind of surprised by it. I don't know. But uh pretty much right now we're just surviving. Till until he uh, Mr. Stay Puff usually throws something at the environment or something to, to essentially just get rid of whatever blockade that we need to get to to get him get him more focused on it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank, thanks, Ray. I think I think I get that. But yeah, um, Mr. Stay Puff he will eventually just throw out these little marshmallow doggy. Burnt marshmallows. What's the word? I don't know. Flunkies. Let's just use that. And then, yeah, you can just shoot at him. I mean, I really do like the effect to where, you know, you can hit him and it shows, like, the burn mark on him. He's essentially. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where the boson works. Yeah. Boson will loosen him up. Actually, speaking of which, let, let me kind of explain bows are darts I don't think I did in my last playthrough uh, bows are darts are pretty much just a concentrated uh, burst of uh, proton strength which in, uh, in the game's case is more like a like a burst shot and I just got hit by a car right there which is pretty much a burst shot which to get rid of like smaller characters like him you know there's our way in break for it in a wider range or like in a small grouping. It's okay, Ghostbusters. Just a level five bot form cross rip. 
The professionals are here. Everybody calm. But yeah, if you're ever getting like surrounded or getting ganged up by a bunch of them, uh, you know, I would say shoot your Protron stream to kind of guide the, pro the Boson Dart. Just so that it's just not, you know, just like just random wildness. Um, I will say though, just ahead of time. I will say with the uh, Bozon darts, uh, try not to shoot them so uh -oh. close to you because uh, they do have like a splash damage as I pick up this artifact. They do have a splash damage, which will hurt you in turn. you said why leave the building you said it'll be quiet you said you know you're fired you're right i secretly knew our lives would be in danger and thought hey i'll make sure i trap mark with me inside an elevator it's a little Excuse bit us? um a little bit more non-telling about those two stay with me Haas. I'm sure there's uh, more someone fun just threw a head. chair through a window oh i missed him not to take it down and even though that um Could be for most of the game that we tread kind of uh, familiar territory with some of the environments um with i would say with the new environments that we see um it's very original i mean kind of like this um office building here it's pretty cool like as far as the interior too I thought we were using our PKE meters to. Okay, it sure got quiet all of a sudden. Yeah, 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 right. Um, thanks for channel one. You're in the aliens. They're <laughs> They're in the <laughs> they just came from the back door. You gonna tell me they came from the vents? But, uh. But no, but like with these new areas, and even with the, just the game itself, I know, um. As far as development help for this game, it's like, you know, Atari and Terminal Reality and Atari went bankrupt. I don't think, in the process of the game being made, I mean, they already had gave them the money. But, you know, with all that, um, they still came out with a pretty awesome game. And things like this to where, you know, these new environments to where they just stack a bunch of, uh, you know, things. Don't let them circle behind you. But uh, this will probably be the toughest, uh, the toughest encounter you have with these little, these little ones because you know it's mainly just kind of just making sure Ray is just kept upright. And if you just head to the corner there, you just pick up another artifact. Artifacts do you give you money? Artifacts do give you money and, um, Typical you know, they buy hot. upgrades and such, which I should be doing soon. And then the general pop scare. Good shooting. But yeah, just usually just. I would say, like, these Someone guys just, just wait till they all kind of get clamored all together. And then just shoot it like a bullseye. You know? Why not? Well, that's all we can use right now. Anyway. Oh man! Beckman, come in, please. It's pandemonium up here. Chunks of the building missing everywhere. You are required at the site now. So happy to be in demand, but these sugar balls have got me nailed down. I can't get past them. They're disgusting. And they're unhealthy. Ah, uh, did I mention there's a spectacularly beautiful lady in distress? I'll be right there. 
Oh, Peter. kind of know when you're gonna or when you're crossing the streams um bray has it is to your help <laughs> to have met someone as special as me, okay? It's okay. Dr. Bentley has you. You're fine now. You didn't spill your coffee, did you, Peter? Ray, I got coffee for all of us. But the little monster spilled it. And what's the story with those things anyway? What? Was that a manifestation of ghosts? Uh, yeah, probably. It just made me. Would you like to take the most direct route out of here, or the scenic route to its latest choice? There's a stairwell over here. Let's go. Woo! Yeah, Grace under pressure. I appreciate that, in a lady. Okay, Slugger, let's you and me do this quick and quiet, before Tubby Soft Squeeze out there figures out what we're up to. I think Tubby oh, Soft Squeeze has dog ears. I, I, I fanically, I mean... Yes, I'm a big Ghostbusters fan, but I fanically love this game. We're not getting out of here that way. Well, it was a good plan for a second. Okay, let's think. What did people do? Before just the fact that okay, they're all kind of not that they're all together. I don't, you know, I I very the roof. I would think like doing the making of this game, they all weren't together in a room, you know. Doing, uh, doing their voices, but still, you can still get there. You can still get, you know. They all have well, chemistry, and I think that's what works for these films. That's what worked with this with this cast in particular. Everyone, you know, says Bill Murray, but you know, if there aren't their own character types, then it doesn't work. And, you know, things just have a funny things have happened, you know. Do I have to run down who was actually in front of Bill Murray before well, Bill Murray was even casted? And just the whole concept of Ghostbusters in general. Prior to it being in its New York setting. Uh, if you're playing this game and you don't know, uh, Ghostbusters originally was going to be like a space. I mean, it's the same concept. In itself, you know, guys going around getting ghosts. But originally, it was like supposed to be like in space, and guys, you know, the Ghostbusters went from they just went around space necessarily, just busting ghosts. And, and as many times as I watched the commentary, I remind me talks about when he first got Dan Aykroyd's treatment. You know, like one of the first monsters was the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. All the other like packs and all of this ghost stuff, you know, which is it was it's so apparent. But uh, you know, Ivan Reitman, you know, I won't say sat him down, but you know, he, he hit him up with Harold Ramis, who previous before Ghostbusters worked with Bill Murray. I mean, he, him and Bill Murray, I believe they worked together in Second City, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, Harold was a writer of a bunch of things, and they had worked previously on Stripes, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Caddyshack, and Bill's kind of first kind of um, big break meatballs, and I think he was kind of a part writer on Animal House. I could be wrong. I could be wrong on most of these things, though. I mean, 
Yeah. If I'm wrong, just just, just something in the comments. But uh, I, I did hear like originally like when uh, Bill Murray was uh, originally got cast to replace Chevy Chase on uh, Saturday Night Live, which I absolutely love. I love the early years of Saturday Night Live, right up until about uh, I'm gonna say 83, 84. But uh, originally, Bill Murray wanted Harold to be part of, or at least like a part writer on the um, on the writing side. Something like that. I wasn't there. Well, I wasn't there. But no, just how, just kind of how that movie came together too. I mean, yes, it's kind of lightning in a bottle, like like how most extremely popular movies are. Everything just came together, you know. You had people who broke, broke with each other for long periods of time. Uh, a good story. Um, Great, you know, working crews on the movies and stuff, and there you have a, you know, was it? almost 30 years later. This is Stay Puft actually made his way up there. That's how you do it. Building. Great job, you guys. Ha! Three spores for everybody from 54th Street to 5th Avenue. Happy Thanksgiving. Here he goes. Big evil sailor all the way to the... Oh! Not quite. Didn't make it. Hey, Ray, say three guys the size of your finger knocked you off the side of a 30-story building and you had to climb all the way back up to tear them apart. How, how mad would you be at those three little dinky types? I'd go with Mighty Pissed. Uh, okay, and throw in a sugar high, too. That giant blue and white toy man thing, or whatever, is still coming. It's climbing the building. I'm impressed with his agility, considering his complete lack of bones. Good news. We've got the Super Slammer back on Pulse and Ecto-1 is rolling. We're repositioning now. Can you hold the stay up there for a few minutes? If by few you mean less than one, then sure, we can do that. Hey, did somebody tell you it was break time? No sweat, kid. We've got you. And when did exactly well, did I become attached to something on the back? If I fell off and died, I mean, kind of suck. But uh, not sure if you would count this as a boss battle, just as much as I would count the Slama battle, a uh, uh, boss battle. Um, just for starters, this is pretty cool to start the game off. We're about five parts in, and we're already hanging on side of the building while the safe, while flaming marshmallow man makes his way up. This is one of the most coolest parts of the game too, because I mean, now you know you got Mr. Stay Puft and all this new glory climbing up the climb up side of the building. Um, just the effects too of you know shooting his proton stream and having him the burn effect show and it go away and the whole. I mean, this this part right here is very very impressive. Uh, one of my favorite parts of the game. But uh, nothing real, nothing real extremely hard about this. Um, just, you know, he's going to make his way up. Um, the little marshmen or marshmallow man, men who, you know, from time to time kind of creep up out of his hand and he'll sometimes shoot. As you can see, he's kind of got a telltale. He'll just blow in his hand and the little men come up. Uh, they themselves. You know, just don't let, just don't let them get too far ahead. But once you get rid of them, uh, yeah, just hit them with a, just hit them with a bozarn dart, and he'll back up from time to time. And you know, as the battle wears on, he gets worse, worse, worse. I mean, just look at that in the face. That's if somebody would, that'd be like a really cool pain. But that's just. But we're gonna hit him with the last bulls on dart, and um, that's gonna be the end of part five. I'll let uh, I'll 
let every I'll let these guys uh take me out. But uh I have a lot more you time to kill my dessert. I have a lot Storm of time Lord to talk needs about um too. all things Ghostbusters, Zero. all things looking like a real uh, big leaguer out there, champ. Pervious to, to this playthrough. And um Where is he? I'll let I'll let He's Ray talk this out and I'll see you guys for the next through. part. Uh, take us Timing's out, guys. off by just a hair, Egon, but we're glad the trap is working again. I guess I owe you guys my life. She's clean. How do you feel? Pretty good. All extremely weird things considered. So far, just another screwed up day at the office. You know, I never forget a face attached to all the rest of that. I think we met earlier at the Sedgwick Hotel. You gave me the SciShow chicken drop. My name's Alyssa, Dr. Alyssa Selwyn, and- I am Dr. Peter Venkman, and that's Egon. It's uh, Ray, Winston, and uh, you met him. Uh-huh, the Ghostbusters. Have you ever been involved in this type of quantum temporal rift event before? A quantum what? It's called arcing, a large pulse of psychic energy. Actually, yes. I was at the museum. A pulse of blue light surged through the building, and then I was standing outside a room on the 13th floor of an old hotel. The Sedgwick. The Sedgwick doesn't have a 13th floor. It was pulling me like a magnet. I felt as though I was in a deep dream. I came to and ran over here. Here? It's a temporary office while I'm in town. I came to do some research after I woke up. We'd like you to come to our lab so we can run some brief tests and ask you more questions. Here's an easy one. Would you like to go out for Thai, Mexican, Japanese? Oh, Dr. Venkman, that time you almost went 45 seconds without saying something abrasive. Want to try for a whole minute next time? A doctor and a fiery one, too. Charming. So charming. 